This is the new Bell 430. It's actually the fifth generation of the product line. But the design has evolved into an aircraft that's new from the inside out. It's not surprising that even during a walk around, potential users see its features rich design through entirely different eyes. As a corporate pilot, most of my time is spent flying executives. So the first thing I want to look at is the engine. I heard the 430 has Allison 250C40 twin engines with full automatic digital electronic control, FADEC. To me, that means auto starts with ignition and fuel flow computer control. FADEC eliminates hot starts, and its engine starting temperatures are reduced about 100 degrees centigrade. So, we get longer turbine life and reduced operating costs. Of course, there are a lot of other benefits too. Things like auto load sharing, engine surge protection, flame out detection, and auto relight. Strange as it sounds, the next thing I noticed was the fact that it has wheels. I could land at smaller airports and taxi up to the ramp, right to the terminal, like a fixed wing plane. Then there's the interior. It's great. My clients sit on leather in their cars and at home. I don't want them to feel like they're riding coach in this beautiful helicopter. And believe it or not, how the aircraft looks is important to my people. After all, the 430 makes a statement. And when we're being met by our customers, it lets them know we're a progressive company and we value personal productivity. From a practical point of view, they'll arrive nice and relaxed because of the size, comfort, and easy ride. I've flown this 430. It's responsive and easy to handle. It's also very quiet. After all, we want our corporate helicopters to be good urban neighbors. Of course, the pilot in me likes where I'll be working, the cockpit. When it was designed, more than a dozen of us from the industry were consulted. We actually got what we always wanted, IDS, an integrated instrument display system, not a jumble of instruments. Panel size has been reduced, and the data I need to fly is easier to access, easier to read, and more reliable. Here are two color active matrix liquid crystal displays. Since we can display five separate formats, there's no need for redundant instrumentation. And I can put my primary flight instruments on this right display, and the secondary ones on the left. And it's just as easy for my co-pilot, because these are active matrix LCDs. That means they're visible day or night, and you can read them from any angle, unlike a lot of CRTs. I'm an emergency room physician, and to me, big doors mean just one thing, easy entrance, easy exit. Currently, I work in a Long Ranger and really thought I had it good. But this extended cabin gives us another 18 inches. That means two pilots, two litters, two medical attendants, and we've still got full patient access. Our challenge is to touch down outside of emergency with a stable patient. And to do that, we need to treat our patients in a stable flight environment. You've got to remember, every year we're doing more and more sophisticated procedures while we're airborne. We've come a long way from the swoop and scoop days. Speed, of course, is important, too. We seem to be responding to calls further away from our metropolitan area. The ability to cruise at better than 160 miles an hour helps us save those precious minutes. If my hospital administrator were here, I'm sure he'd mention direct operating costs. I understand that operating the 430 is about the same as a 230. That's quite an accomplishment considering the added performance and load. Because I'm in the business of saving lives, I'm keenly interested in how safe it is to fly in a Bell helicopter. Bell pioneered crash-resistant fuel tanks and energy-absorbing crew seats. I know better than most people, accidents do happen. I am an Air Force major from a Latin American country, and we're very interested in the new Bell 430. From all we've heard, this is a well-designed, versatile, and rugged helicopter. We must move troops and cargo all over our country, and the 430 is the right size. The load capacity is impressive, more than 1,500 kilos. These big doors make for easy hoist operations when we've got search and rescue operations. The doors also mean quick loading and unloading, especially at night. 
Our Air Force is called upon to support other government agencies, law enforcement, narcotics, and border patrol. The cockpit provides us with excellent visibility and the instrument panel is the best layout I've ever seen. We handle many emergencies all over our country and the 430 speed of almost 260 kilometers per hour will really be a big asset. Getting doctors, special police, or custom personnel to some remote site on time and with the right equipment is what we depend on helicopters to do. Even flying in some of the most rugged, mountainous terrain in the world, Bell has proven their dependability to us. We've been flying Bells for 25 years. We learned that they support what they sell. Once I was grounded in the middle of the jungle, and Bell got me parts and technical support in less than a day. That's commitment to service that my country needs. Just about any day you can find my company flying around South Texas, the Gulf, and Latin America. It's good you guys made skids an option on the 430. Because offshore, that's what we need. My next thought is four. This bird's got four blades. Fact is, that's the key to its enviable performance. I still don't understand how they added two more rotor blades while adding only three parts to the hub. We told them we wanted something simple, easy to maintain with longer time between overhauls, <laughs> and they actually did it. This 430 rotor hub has no scheduled maintenance or lubrication. But simple doesn't mean cheap. Take these blades. They're very sophisticated composites. The best blades in the industry. Can you believe it? They've got unlimited on-condition life. You know, an advanced rotor system and new engines don't mean much if you can't connect them. So I guess it's no surprise that the 430 transmission is new and beefier. So much so that it provides 11% more output power than our 230s. I was one of the operators Bell talked to when they were designing this 430. Fact is, they weren't looking for yes men. They wanted good, hard, real world input. You listen to. I see they made the new integrated instrument display system controllable from the collective. Well, that suggestion came out of our group. It'll make our life a whole lot easier. They even got split throttle grips on the collective. The 430 is just the right size for flying crews out to the platforms when they change shifts. Just one trip will usually get the job done. This helicopter is reliable and rugged. When hurricane season starts and we gotta pull a crew off a platform, you simply can't wait for good weather. Often we have to fly single pilot IFR. It's a way of life over these waters. Some folks may look at the 430 and see only luxury transportation for executives. Well, when I look at the 430, I see a workhorse. One with the dependability I learned I can count on from Bell. It's hard to beat endorsements like these. If you're buying a helicopter, a lot of our customers can verify that the copy line in our ads, It Better Be Bell, is far more than a slogan. The innovative 430, continuing the Bell heritage.